hello guys and welcome back to another video this one is a review our first review this is the back of the box sorry a review of Intex Seahawk 3 this boat this inflatable boat holds three persons or more I say more because we have met more people fitting this and it is as large as the car the car yep now the Seahawk 3, what is cool about this is that it comes with your oars, it comes with the grab line, it comes with these areas here which hold your fishing pole, it comes with a pump, a foot pump. We have two outer chambers here and here. We'll flip back to when we inflated it. This is perfect. So if this chamber gets punctured, this one still is safe so you're not going to drown right away a foot pump which you insert to the valve here and here you go in here and here and here we'll go back to Antoine showing you how it's done because I can do this shit it has this nice little pouch that you can put your stuff in I don't know you can put your fishing stuff in here and yeah, and then it has a repair patch. We have re every repair patch. I have no idea. We didn't get a repair patch. Comes with your repair patches, which look like paper instructions. Please don't throw them away. You might need them, but we do recommend, from what we learned, getting a double adhesive patch kit from your local marine store. Besides that, what else does it come with? You gotta put the seats in it. The seats, I forgot about the seats. It has two seats. <laughs> you can put them over there and over here and relax. You can sit on them. You can have it as a backrest. Depends on what you want to do. Okay guys, so I think that's about it. Um and Antoine will show you the rest, the more detailed stuff, because this is harder than it looks. Alright, so we're here today unboxing the Seahawk 3. It's an inflatable boat and we're about to go on a voyage. <laughs> Are you ready? I am ready. So, so far what I can tell is if you know about racing, Aston Martin racing is this color. It's um, it's a green and yellow. Oh there, where do you set this down? Mm -hmm. Green and yellow. It's pretty nice. Actually, don't want to set it up in the sun because so it's very hot and there's not much wind. And I think I have to pump it manually. So yeah, let's start with this. Let's start with the seats. That, that was okay. not supposed to happen yeah. because it probably said that we should have screwed it down. I don't know what those are. I think they're called instructions. Who, who does that? Before we start pumping. Oops. I think the boat can carry a motor. Rated, rated. Yeah, it can. The boat it's rated. On the box, it says it's rated for um, a horsepower and a half, 1.5 horsepower. We've seen people put 10 horsepower motors on them. That's even what should be done. So, the oars are very simple and strong and sturdy. Actually pretty impressed with them. 
uh, it's a three part so the one that doesn't have the handle obviously goes to the paddle part of the oar um, there's a little hole here and a spring loaded button so that goes in here line it up snaps in easy then the last part goes in here snaps in that's it and it's pretty strong you did um, decided to to inflate the floor first because if I inflated the outsides when it fell up I didn't want to reach over into it to fill it so I just fill the inside first so it has two times one here and one here this is the inner this is the outer I'm going to fill the inner first then the outer one and we should be on our way here's where the boat is going to take shape Alright guys, so this inner one is what gets the air in, if you look here, that's what gets the air in, then when you're done, yes, it's not get tight like that, to get the air out is the bigger one beneath it, turn it that way, but I don't want to let the air out now, so yeah, so in, in the smaller one, out to release it when you're finished, the bigger one on the inside. Won't need that. <laughs> so we're going to. It's fine having them like that, like this. But we're going to go into the water now. So just to attach it. Not that it's not inside the the boat itself, rolling around. We're going to attach it onto the side of the boat. Yeah. Yeah. So just put it together. Snap it in. Bada bim. Bada boom. This. Like that. Done. So that's option two if all you can hold it or or option one over there. And we've lost our ring. Oh, there she is. She went far, boy. Yep. These are really easy to break apart. There are three compartments to them. Just slide it off. You saw how he slid it off. Please don't lose these guys. You gotta make sure you keep them good. See how yeah. we just slid that in there? What I think I can do is... Yeah, we can actually hold them actually on Actually leave them on yeah. here. So look at how he put it on you. It's a little bit of a tough because you got to get over that low. Right, I just leave Snap it there. Yeah. Snap it back together. And pop that in there. Both in. And your oars are safely tucked away on the outside rather than hanging on top. If you need to use them, then you'll put them through these roll holes. I don't know what they're called. I'll insert it here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, if you're interested in buying the Intex Seahawk 3, you can find it on Amazon. The link is in the description down below. Just click the link and you'll find it. Or if you're in Barbados, you can find it at Do It Best Home Center. Let's get back into the video. So we're going to do a detailed walk around and a wipe down. 
first maiden voyage this is the uh, grab handle this is grab rope that goes around it here is one of the um, the ice for the ore to go through this is sturdy and then down here we have this is where another, you keep your oars yeah that's another option for keeping your oars there there are two there and the oars are here this extra this piece here it didn't come on you had to slip it in and you've got the fishing pole what do you call this the rod holder rod holder and these two extra pieces here they look like if they're not for any use as these four pieces are actually for what Antoine where to hold the, um, the engine mount yeah because this actually can hold an engine and you can buy an engine mount on Amazon or from the uh, or your local or from Antex itself yeah from Antex website so that's for the engine mount we've got the oars there we've got the seats We've got the pouch down here. Can't see a pouch because the view is too dark, bright. That's the pouch there. And that is the Seahawk. That's the Seahawk 3. And she's ready to go. All spoofed up and ready. But yeah, this is the Seahawk 3. Inflatable by Intex. And we're about to test it out. If you want to see that video, you gotta click the next video. You gotta click the next link. Click the links right there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you at 5K subscribers. Bye. <laughs> you need another driver anymore? <laughs> you can't get us back. Okay, right, so I got pulled back. Yeah. Mm -hmm.